I do bundle Excelident with Invisalign. And what that means is that if I offer a patient Invisalign, they have to use Excelident. And if they don't, um, I would rather not treat them than even go through uh, treating them without Excelident. And again, this is, I took a journey to get to this point. Um, I started doing Invisalign back at NYU. I actually taught it uh, before I got even my certificate. I got my certificate in 2004. And in 2006, um, I had a great rep that um, actually works for Excelident right now who really encouraged me to jump on to Invisalign and really start treating some cases. I was super excited to treat, uh, to do 23 patient records uh, in one evening. And from there, I actually started to um, increase and ramp up my Invisalign in my practice. Um, so for the course of maybe seven, eight years, I started treating more and more patients with Invisalign. And I don't know about you, but I started to get frustrated with myself and with what I was or wasn't able to do and and meaning that unless it was extremely simple and super straightforward uh, I was not getting the great results that I saw on my clin checks I wasn't getting teeth to track it was very difficult to keep patients motivated. Compliance was always an issue. I found myself doing multiple refinements for patients and at the end of their treatment, I would look at their outcome and say, gosh, you know, I guess this is the best that I could do. Even after several refinements, I still did not feel that I was really giving them um, what I really wanted to give them. So um, I don't know. I started to get frustrated. And my reps would always say, hey, you should do more. You should treat different cases. And at that point, I was only doing alignment. I wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary complex, I would call it. Um, I started going to the Excelident lectures. I went to my first one in 2013. I thought, hey, this is kind of interesting. They have a lot of data to back up what they're claiming. There are a lot of doctors with testimonials at this point saying that they've got great experience in their office using Excelident with Invisalign. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to give this a try. I started marketing myself as the accelerated Invisalign provider. And we really jumped on board and started doing more and more accelerated Invisalign treatments. Um, I actually almost doubled my Invisalign cases that I treated over the next um, year. And uh, we actually became a top 1% provider that year. So of course, my staff now were super excited. We're using Excelident. We're getting great tracking. We're not having compliance issues. Everybody's excited. The patients are loving it from a comfort standpoint, uh, changing their aligners at one week. So everybody was super pumped up. We ended up going to the Invisalign Summit that year, and I saw all these different types of treatments that were being treated by these amazing presenters at the summit. I started to then think about other types of patients that came to me and really started to push that envelope, again, with Invisalign using Excelident. And I compared two patients, our tooth twins, Abby and Leo. They both have a blocked out canine. Of course, I look at Leo and think he's got many more challenging issues. He's got a maxillary midline deviation to the right, mandibular to the left. He's got much more significant crowding and, um, you know, seems a lot more challenging to me. I treated Abby years ago without Excelident and um, went through many trays and she got refinement and at the end of the day, it took us 37 months with 49 aligners, difficulty tracking, difficulty with the crowding, difficulty with the crossbite correction. And although I think she got a really decent outcome, when you look at how we treated Leo, I think you'll agree it's pretty amazing. We can manage these blocked out canines so beautifully with accelerated Invisalign. I did not distalize on Leo because he did not have his um, maxillary second molars 
uh, erupted yet, and I don't want to impact them. So my initial aligners only created an ideal midline situation and created space for my canine to come into the mouth. If you look at his progress photos, you can see that we are slowly moving the midlines, aligning them, we're not distalizing, and we've created a great space for that canine to come in. We're using some auxiliaries to close that canine bite down and create a better intercuspation with the lower teeth. And this is his progress at six months. I can't believe that we were able to accomplish this at six months. And if you look at him, I'm just honestly blown away that we could do all of this for Leo with Invisalign, with Accelident, and get such a great result for him without needing to do braces or extractions. I absolutely thought it was going to need to distalize on Leo. And as it turned out, he ended up in a pretty good class one molar occlusion. So at this point, we are just waiting for his second molars to erupt. At six months of treatment, we'll do a quick scan, get maybe eight aligners, probably with no attachments, coordinate all the molars, tuck in that upper right canine, and he's literally done in eight months of treatment compared to Abby, no Excelident, very similar treatment, and 36 months for her. Another very similar...